Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Rob Shiva. I'm here at the beach right now. I'm just kidding. I'm using a green screen. Actually, I can be anywhere I want. Um, it's kind of nice because this is kind of the beginning, I guess, of augmented reality, um, which, you know, in the metaverse, everybody's talking about it. Uh, Zuckerberg's changed Facebook to the metaverse. Coincidentally, at a time in, in history when COVID has basically forced everyone to stay away from each other and to, you know, for humanity not to interact as, as we are meant to interact. So it's kind of interesting, actually, how that works hand in hand together with the idea of, you know, interacting through the metaverse. I just thought that was a very odd and unique coincidence, considering the force and the power and technology behind all of it and timing and all these things. Um, yes, I'm putting them together. I'm connecting the dots in a sense. Um, I guess one of the other things that, that I figured out that that that, uh, that kind of came to me was that I had listed. And if you saw the other video, it was kind of chopped up because my first time using this. But now that I know how to use it, I can actually do videos a little bit uh, a bit more clean and clear. I probably won't do as many live videos. Uh, probably get uh, pre-record all of them. But hey, those of you guys who are actually um, you know subscribed, thank you very much. And uh, you know, like I said, I don't have a lot of fancy stuff. I just like to get to the bottom of the idea, the truth, and, and just talk about it and discuss it. And like I said, truth evolution is about the evolution of understanding truth and truth itself. And, uh, you know, the more technology, technologically advanced that we get, uh, the closer, the more that I understand the concepts, the more that I kind of have an idea of how there would be such a thing as a God you know, if you go down to its quantum particles and the most finest particles that they can find, you know, in matter, and they still have no clue where the consciousness lies, where the spark of life exactly comes from, you know, and uh, until they can find out how this matrix that we live in actually works, we're going to be, you know, uh, dabbling uh, at the very doorstep of, of, uh, of wonder and and amazement, you know, uh, of where all technological discoveries, all the m things that look like magic to us, you know, are, are, are right through that door, right through that gateway. But, um, you know, I like to, to uh, peer through that place every once in a while, and I do that through meditation. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Rav Shiva. I go by TSP, the spiritual philanthropist Rav Shiva. One of the first posts that really, that to me, uh, really stuck out and made me know that I was onto something was when I did a post called the dopamine effect when I was doing my second degree in um, addiction counseling and substance abuse. And uh, I started studying more about the brain and neurochemicals and how they work on the brain and the body biologically. And uh, it was fascinating. It gave me the idea of creating the article, which you can go on to, if you type in the dopamine effect, it should come, my post should come up as well, but it's about a year and a half, almost two years before the CEOs, both or three different CEOs, two or three different CEOs from Facebook came out and basically used everything that I researched and read uh, and wrote. And uh, like basically my article was verbatim through their mouth and uh, their research, except they had billions of dollars, you know, super high tech equipment to be able to assess all this and to figure it out. I just basically did it how I usually do it. I just go into my mind's eye and, and I figure these things. And, uh, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I like researching truth. It's about, you know, finding some kind of factual truth to corroborate some of the um, metaphysical ideas, you know, that we have. I mean, you know, you can look at... Uh, at quantum physics and, and say that it's a bit metaphysical in nature as well because when it comes to quantum entanglement to the finest particles that they can barely observe only through interactions with these particles by colliding them together. Uh, and one of the colliders is the Hadron Collider, Particle Collider, where they smash these atoms together and they record whatever they can find out of it and that's how they figured out the uh, boson god particle, the so-called god, god particle. I'm waiting for the devil particle to come out if there is such a thing. So, and I'm trying to figure out which, which God that is, that that particle is, so, you know, there's quite a few gods out there, but uh, I'm just being stupid. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. Like I said, for one, I always tell people that when you 
speak about something and it came from you genuinely in the past that's what people were known for is for their thoughts that was a big big commodity back then is that that person was able to think these very high thoughts but in today's society people are able to use the greatest thoughts of others and become known for those thoughts even though they had nothing to do with the manifestation and understanding of those thoughts they're just like parrots repeating them and you guys have to start knowing the difference about truth and people that use it like a parrot they just repeat it but they have no in-depth understanding of what it actually is so if you guys have read my first comic book truth is strangers in fiction i'm coming out with the second part of it called in gods plural in gods we trust and i'm gonna i guess you're gonna have the same type of humor uh a little bit more commentary and a lot more fun in the book now but um i'll leave you guys with that and uh like I said, I just wanted to get on here and say hi and say Happy New Year to you guys. I hope this next year turns out great. You know, wishing everybody uh, great health, wealth, abundance, and happiness, you know, and finding salvation in some way. You know, really enjoying this life and helping others to enjoy it and, and just having a blissful experience through it all. So we know the, hor the horrible people out there in the world who don't want you to be happy. But you can't listen to that and don't even think about them you know don't let it in your mind if it, you don't mind it won't matter it's an old saying kind of works so i'll leave you guys with that have a great day and uh tsp rafshiva over and out i'll see you guys in the next video